Almost exactly two months ago, I had a crazy idea. I had an idea and I think I'm going to try to actually build an office in my garage. I'm gonna show you the space before it started in the very beginning stages and then I'm gonna to try to document as I build this out so we can see how it goes. Here's the space right now. Bye. Hey Claire. And you can see that I have these shelves up. Uh, we do park in the garage, so we have the van right here. And then there's a door, there's an exterior door here. But basically what I'm thinking about is if you if you look at this blue line on the ground, it's an eight by 10 foot space in the garage. It's you know just about a fourth of, a little more than a fourth of the garage. Uh, there's no ceiling interference, except for one little thing I can shift over just a little bit right there. And it would be enough space on the interior to be able to put my desk and have plenty of room to uh, move around, have a couple shelves, have some whiteboards. And then I'll have this in, you know, have this exterior door. I probably won't put an interior door, um, but I'll just have this exterior door that will be basically the entrance to my office. The biggest challenge so far is that this floor is not level. And so I'm trying to decide right now about whether I want to level this by coming up to the height of the uh, bricks over here. I'm thinking about bringing the uh, subfloor up probably like six inches and that still gives me more than eight foot to the ceiling. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking here is that I'm gonna try to build an office in the garage in this eight by 10 space. So here we go. And from there, I did some measuring, cleaned up, went and bought some materials, and I got started. I think my favorite thing about the project altogether was just learning about the process because I'd never done a project exactly like this, so I needed to do some research. I had to sketch everything out beforehand. I just love being able to see those ideas that I put on paper actually come to life into something that's real. And so like here are some of the sketches that I have of uh, you know, the original plans and measurements. I had a couple of shopping lists. I was figuring out this drop ceiling idea. I had to learn about electrical wiring and I had to like make these diagrams like this to be able to figure out how the circuits were going to work because that's something I hadn't thought about with having a light switch on one end where the power comes from the other end and how it was gonna make all that work. But it was really cool to learn that process, to learn about electricity, to learn about drywall, which I didn't do a great job with, but I learned. I learned a lot about how to build this kind of thing. And I think, again, my favorite part of the process was really just seeing the ideas go from paper to actual implementation into something physical. So the main reason I decided to build a home office in the first place is just because I wanted to be home with the family more often. We're gonna be homeschooling this year and so I wanted to be able to be involved in that process with the kids. And being even though my office was only 15 minutes away, driving back and forth and not being able to just walk in and help with something as needed was just not going to be really convenient for this year. Also, I was able to customize this space a lot more to meet the needs of doing things like recording video or uh, whatever else I'm going to be doing. I have a, a full whiteboard wall here. It's just really nice to be able to customize the space. And also building the office in the garage was able to solve some of the problems that I was having with the idea of a home office before, like having lots of distractions, or having too much sound because the kids are running around or not looking professional and getting out of the house and into the garage really solved those problems. I wasn't able to document quite as much of the process as I had hoped, but I did wanna say a special thanks to my brother Patrick and to my kids for all the help that they gave me throughout the process. Thanks for helping, buddy. So just a quick garage video update here. 
Um, it was about 10 days ago or nine days ago whenever I decided, hmm, I could probably build a, an office in this garage and I drew the chalk lines on the floor and made a little video saying, hmm, I think I'm gonna do this. So I just wanted to uh, take a minute here to show the current progress. So remember those chalk lines I had on the floor? They were right here. And now I have a built out frame. They have drywall on the inside, they have electrical running. They even have an air conditioner vent over here. I had to put in a subfloor to get it level. Uh, and there's still plenty of room in the garage to park a car. Obviously right now it's just a huge mess because I moved everything over here to get it out of the way. Uh, but I'm gonna put these shelves back over here in this little corner. And uh, for now, this will kind of be the junk area and the car will still be able to park here. Okay, so I'll do a little office tour here. This is the exterior door to the garage or what used to be the garage. And just open this up. And we have, it's kind of hard to see with just the gray and white walls where they are now with nothing in here. We have the office coming along well. Um, there's a little step up. Obviously I haven't finished that yet, but step up into the office. And then lights. Right now I'm just using these hanging LEDs. I have my air conditioning over here. And that's the office. So right now I still have to finish the spackling, sand everything down, get it painted, put in the laminate, that's the floor I'm going to use, and finish this step. Which is kind of the hardest thing left, I think. Move everything in and I'll be good to go. Okay, it's gonna be the last before video. What is it? Whoa. It's ready to move in. Um, look, we have an air So I saw a little bit left to do with molding. I'm gonna mold around the top of this step and the bottom of the step there. And then the baseboards are just set in place right now. I still need to um, cut some things at angles and put a few more nails in. And I got this painted, the, the cement floor on the bottom. And it is ready to go. Obviously there's still a lot of finishing touches to do. There is. But it's ready to move the stuff in. All right, Claire, let's see if we can do a cartwheel. Perfect. You won't have room to do that soon. Nice. And now I'm all moved in. So this is my space. This is my new office and I'm really excited about it. I still have a lot of customizing to do. I haven't quite decided what I want to put in here yet. And while I really miss my space at SoCo and the interaction with the community that I had there, I am really happy with this space here at home as well. And to those of you watching because you might be thinking about building your own office inside of a garage and you're wondering about the cost, I will say that I got a little bit lucky with having the exterior door, but in general, I think that it's possible to do something like this without spending a ton of money. You do have to kind of figure out air conditioning and heat and electricity and some things like that. So your, your mileage may vary, but my cost on building this space was just under $1,200, including the purchase of the air conditioner, which was about $300 by itself. The very next steps are to improve lighting. I'm gonna be putting a professional studio lighting in here for videos, and I also need to improve acoustics. I'm gonna need some sound panels. It's really echoey in here. I'm gonna to try to adjust that a little bit in the editing process of this video and see how it goes, but I definitely need to improve the acoustics long-term. 
I also have some little things to do like uh, painting some trim and some blemishes and finishing the outside wall in the garage, which is not quite finished yet. I'd also like to install some smart home features, security and lighting and some cool things like that. And of course, I probably need some custom art or something else on the walls that I can use for motivation or productivity. I haven't quite decided what to do about storage because I like the feel of everything being very minimalist. There's not a lot of, of stuff in here. There's not a lot of clutter in here, but I do need some space to put at least a few things. So I'm going to have to work on trying to balance having a little bit of storage for using things that I'd use daily in the office um, and also keeping things as decluttered as possible. I'm really excited to make this space my own and I'm also really excited to build an awesome company right here in my garage. Speaking of spending more time with family and building an awesome company, if you're interested in that kind of thing and you'd like to follow along on my process, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be including more videos about entrepreneurship and business, spending more time with your family, homeschooling, and all kinds of other adventures. It'll be a lot like my personal journal, but also I wanna share the things that I'm learning so that hopefully they'll be helpful to you too. So make sure to subscribe and I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well.